How to plan the trade. One of the key ingredients to becoming successful as a forex trader is the obvious ability to spot a potential trade, but also of equal importance is being able to calculate the reward versus the risk. This recent example on the pound dollar is very simple. We can see that price has been coming up to an area, bouncing off and coming back down. We know that the channel is approximately 180 pips from top to bottom and therefore we can calculate that with a small risk of say 20 pips below the trend line then we have a reward of almost 9. So 1 to 8, 1 to 9 risk reward ratio you do not have to win many trades in a month to be highly profitable. Before we enter a trade, we first need to calculate where we're going to place our stop. From that, we can calculate the potential distance that the trade could go, or is likely to go, and therefore we can define our potential risk reward. Now, on this recent example, you could simply have placed your stop 20 pips below the trend line, and it would have worked on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, Forex is not as simple as that most of the time. So what we need to then look at are other indicators. Now one of the trades here that I had pointed out to my mentor group the previous week was a potential long at 15800. We took the trade at 15810 because as I've explained before, price doesn't always get there and you have to allow for spreads and things. So 15810, where would we look to place our stop? Well, from the information that you have in front of you, you could have simply gone just below 15800. A more sensible place would be below the recent low. This particular spike down was from an extraordinary news announcement. But if you wanted to be more conservative, then you could have placed your stop below here. Another indicator to help you for stops is Fibonacci. If we fib the recent high to the recent low, then we had an added incentive in here in that the 61.8 fib was also just below this recent low. So a stop placed here gives you a potential risk of 30 odd pips for a potential gain of 160, 170, 180. It's a no brainer. Similarly, when price came down to this area here, if we move the fib up again, once again, we have the added incentive of a trend line intersecting with 78.6 Fib. Very simple, very easy. Equally, if you were looking to short in this area here, then you could simply have gone 15, 20 pips above the 160 hole number. As I said earlier, this is a textbook pattern. It just happened to coincide with the week that I was recording. It doesn't always work this way, but you have seen how support and resistance of Fibonacci can be very helpful in gauging where to place our stops. Another thing about risk reward is the ability to spot a potential poor trade. And as I showed you last week, one of my students was looking for valid reasons at a potential long here. Uh, this was to do with a breakout from the London Open. It wasn't a trade based upon this method. But once we looked at the fact that 160 was only 30 pips away and we were going to have to place our stop down here, 30, 40 pips or more below, it's a no-brainer. You would not look to long at this point here. Equally, later in the week, I explained that price broke 160, I still would not look to long. And the reason was that the upper trend line was only just above it and the 121.4. This is the pound dollar in real time and price is currently moving its way back down to 15800. There is no way that I will short in its current position because probability says it will probably bounce back off this area once again. It's not to say that it won't break through but if it breaks through and closes below I will look for a potential pullback for a short but at the end of the day, if it does work and I don't take it, it is only a missed opportunity. I will not have lost any money. And you need to get this in mind. I am interested to short here and to long here. There is no way I would short here nor long up here. 
similar scenario on the dollar yen. Now the dollar yen at the moment is trying to break the bottom trend line and it could work. However, I will not take it in its current position. We are in a channel that has gone back three weeks now. Price has repeatedly come up to this upper area, bounced back down again. Therefore, I would prefer to be patient and disciplined and wait for price to come up here because my risk versus my reward will be much greater than if I was to enter a trade down here. And the further fact that probability says it's probably more likely to bounce back up here than to continue down. This is the dollar Swissy, and last week whilst I was recording the videos I explained that I would not long here because until price broke above 9100 we are still in a downtrend. I then explained that should price come back and touch this area I would not short here. Even though this is the upper trend line I wouldn't short because 90 is just below. And what did price do? Price came down and bounced off it to the pip. Now if this price was to break 90, close below, then pull back to the trend line, yes I would take it. But until it breaks a major area of support and resistance, do not even consider the trade. This is the Euro Pound and I have spotted a potential trade here. I am looking to short at 82.90, which is just below this recent major support and resistance of 82.95 and just below the whole number of 8300. I'm then going to look to place my stop just above the 61.8 Fib, which if you look across to the left, there is also support and resistance there, 83.11. So I'm going to be more conservative and I'm going to go to 83.20 for my stop. Therefore I am risking 30 pips for a potential gain back down to the recent low of 67.70 pips. So 1 to 2 risk reward ratio. How will I calculate the lot size for this particular trade? This neat little piece of software is available to download from within the site and the way that you use this is as follows. Let's say your account size is a different amount. So let's say your account size is $8,000. You are looking to place a trade risking 3% of your account. You are looking to risk 30 pips, as I've just shown you. And the pair in this case is the Euro GBP. All you need to do is press Calculate. And you will see you are risking 3%, which is $240 your pip value per lot and then you need to place 0.5 of a standard lot to make this trade. To place the trade I right click on the chart, click trading and click new order. Then double check this is the Euro GBP. The volume I wish to trade is 0.5 and this is going to be a forward order. So for a forward order you click on to pending orders and it is going to be a sell limit order and I am going to sell at 82.90 I'm going to place my stop at 83.20 and I'm going to place my overall target at 8226 fractionally above the recent low. Place my order. And there we have the confirmation. I will show you more examples as the course progresses, but those are the basics of how to plan the trade, where to place the stop, potential targets, how to calculate your lot size, and then how to place the trade.